This question comes up all the time. It's about your air conditioning and heating system. And the question is, is how often should one replace their filters in their air conditioning and heating system? The HVAC system, as they call it. So I brought in an expert. I brought in an expert, Gareth Kelly, to join me here from Dream Team Plumbing, Electrical, Heating, and Cooling. Gareth, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing today, Joe? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. This question comes up all the time, I know. It comes up on our side and, of course, in your business as well. I'm sure a lot of your customers, though, don't actually replace their filters as often as they should. What do you think about that? Yeah, um, it's one of those things a lot of people, you know, as long as their air conditioning turns on and turns off again, they sort of forget about it. And it can be easily done when everybody's got busy lives of like kids running around and different projects going on. So, um, you know, it's understandable that they forget to change their air filters. But, um, you know, air filters are definitely, you know, should definitely be replaced. You know, like there's all different types of air filters. There's like the small standard one, we call them the one inch filters. Those are ones you mostly see at Home Depot and you can buy them at a hardware store. So um, those filters we recommend, they change from one month to three months. They'll last, you know, but no longer, you know. So um, you might get, you know, part of a season out of one filter. And then you have the larger filters, which do a better job of collecting the dust and the allergens and all that sort of stuff. Um, they're like three or four inch filters. Those filters can last from, you know, the manufacturer says they last from six months to nine months, but Still a good idea, you know, to check them at least every three months and make sure, you know, that the filter's in good shape. Absolutely. And if you have more than one unit, which many people do, you might have, uh, you know, a unit for upstairs and downstairs, possibly. They're going to have different um, returns and filtration, and some filters might be dirtier than the others, correct? Yeah, the, the um, upstairs one might not you know, run as often in the winter and the downstairs one might not run as often in the summer. So um, they could definitely, be, and um, they, they have different filtration on them and different size of returns and stuff, you know, and, you know, just having a dirty filter in your air conditioning system, you know, you could be wasting hundreds of dollars in energy bills every year by not changing them, you know. So, you know, and, and that also can result in like making your furnace work harder. So if your furnace has to work harder to get the air through, it takes longer to heat and cool your home than what it should. And then that, not only does that cost you a lot of money, but that can like sometimes shorten the life of your system or damage your system. So, and once it gets completely blocked, then you have a big issue. You know what I mean? So sometimes the fillers get pulled into the unit where they shouldn't have and it causes all types of damage. Absolutely. The moral of the story, everybody, is to make sure you maintain your your heating and your air conditioning system on a regular basis. And as part of that, at least twice a year, if not quarterly, you need to look at and change out your air filters. If you don't know how to do it yourself, you should definitely call in an expert like the people over at Dream Team. All of Garris information to get a hold of him and his team is located in the description of this podcast. Gareth, thank you so much for the information today. Oh, you're welcome, Joe. Take care.